Hello, today we're working on law of cosines. So law of cosines is going to be used basically any time you can't use law of sines. If you remember law of sines, uh, you needed a matching angle inside. If you do not have a matching angle inside, then you will be using law of cosines. So law of cosines is this equation right here. And you can change that out for whichever angle you're looking at or whichever side you're looking at. So if we were going to plug this in, then we would have this right here. So this will be 81, 49, 25, and this right here will have the negative two or the two times the seven times the five is 70. So we're going to subtract the 49 and the 25 over, and we'll have 7 equals negative 7, the cosine A, divide by that negative 70. So we'll have negative 0.1 equals cosine of A. We're going to say A is the inverse cosine of negative 0.1, and that's going to equal just about 95.7 degrees. Now, we do have a matching side and angle, so we can switch back over to using law of sines to solve the rest. So we'll say sine 97 or 95.7 over 9 equals sine B over 7. We're going to do our cross multiplication and then get sine B by itself. Or we're just going to get sine b by itself. So we'll have 7 sine 95.7 over 9. When we plug this into the, or then we'll need to say b is the inverse sine of what we have. And that's going to equal just about 50.7 degrees. Now we have two angles. We're trying to solve for that third angle, so we can use our property of a triangle. 180 minus the 50.7 minus the 95.7, and C is going to equal 33.6 degrees. And now you've solved for all angles and sides of the triangle. If you have any questions on this, please reach out. Otherwise, have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow.